Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. The PC version that launches this week. I am super excited for those of you guys that have been patiently waiting to finally get your chance to jump in and join us in Astera. And with that in mind, today I wanted to quickly go over some recommended key bindings you might want to set up when you start playing the game. While you can just as easily plug in a controller should you wish, if you do decide to play with mouse and keyboard, which by the way feels great, then there's a couple of small tweaks you'll likely want to make so that the controls are easier to manage. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. If you do enjoy this, then a like will be super appreciated, and be sure to comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions, or if there's anything else you'd like to know ahead of the game launching this week. Also, very quickly, don't forget there are still four days left on the God of War PS4 Pro giveaway, so if you haven't already entered, then you can find a link to the competition in the description box down below. Click the link and follow the instructions to enter. Now, to begin with, let's start with melee weapons, since for the most part, their controls are pretty solid by default. You have your attacks mapped to left and right click, so if you're coming over from PS4 or Xbox, or if perhaps you want to check out my weapon tutorials and then want to translate the button inputs to PC, then triangle is left click, circle is right click, and both buttons together perform some other moves. Movement is on W, S, and D, and roll is on space, which is conveniently placed by your thumb, so by default, this is already pretty comfortable. But for weapons that have special functions or shields, then there are a couple of things I would change. Right now, for Sword and Shield, block is control, and since the shield inputs can work into your combos, I wanted it somewhere a little bit more comfortable and accessible. So if you dive into the options, go over to keyboard settings and select melee weapons, then here's what we're going to do. First up, I'm going to change the display items and reset camera button to tab. This is the button you hold to bring up your item tray, and I'm moving it from Q to tab because I want to use Q for something else. I'm then going to change dash and sheath weapon from shift to Q. Now sure, holding shift to dash whilst using WS and D to move feels great, but as mentioned, I want my shield button in a more comfortable position. And since you always sprint with your weapon sheath anyway, holding Q to sprint is just as easy. And then finally, scroll to the very bottom and change draw weapon and guard to shift. Apply these changes, and with these three remapped buttons, you can now hold down Q to sprint, and of course move the mouse to change your camera, so this feels super smooth to use. I can hold down tab and press left or right mouse button to scroll between the items in the tray if I want to. And I can then hold down shift to use my shield, which is in a much better place, especially if you want to move whilst blocking. Admittedly, you rarely do that, but it's still more comfortable. And also for weapons like the charge blade with heavy shield utility, then this is also a much more comfortable playstyle than using control for shield actions. Of course, the beauty of remarkable buttons is that you can change them to suit your own personal needs, but for my time playing the PC version, this is by far the most comfortable setup I've used. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about ranged weapons. Ranged weapons need a little bit more work since by default the setup is really weird. You hold down V to aim, you press control or left click to fire, and you then use the right mouse button for special ammo like Wyvern Blast. This is super weird since something like Wyvern Blast isn't used all the time, and thus it's taken up an incredibly valuable button. Plus, nobody really wants to hold down V to aim. You can press control to toggle aim, but I also don't want to be locked into aim either. So let's fix this. Firstly, so that there's some continuity between range and melee weapons, again, remap your display items to tab and then map sprint and sheath to Q. This way, if you're jumping between melee and ranged, it won't feel so different each time. Then what you want to do is scroll down and remap the draw weapon slash standard attack to left mouse button. By default, fire is set to left mouse button, but the difference between these two options is that the fire above only works when the weapon is unsheathed. Meanwhile, this bottom option will not only draw your weapon, but will also allow you to fire. So it's multi-purpose. So just remap the other fire shoot option to something else that you won't use. I threw it on middle mouse button and then remap the bottom one to left mouse button. After that, you then want to remap the display aiming reticle hold currently on V to right mouse button. So that way you can hold the right mouse button to aim. And then with that in place, move the special attack to shift, which is where God was for the melee weapons. Apply these changes. And now you can press left mouse button to both draw your weapon and shoot. You can also hold down right mouse button to pull up the aiming reticle and fire. And you can press shift to place your wife and blasts. This feels much more intuitive when using a ranged weapon and is much less likely to have you getting all mixed up when you're in the heat of battle. Additionally, if you are using mouse and keyboard, be sure to select the keyboard as the radial menu type because then when you configure it, you can press the F keys 1 through 4 to bring up the trays. And for ranged weapons, you can swap your ammo on the fly while shooting. So for gunners, this is super handy. But of course, you can also map all other items to it as well. But that, my friends, it's pretty much it. That was a quick rundown of some recommended button mappings you should consider trying out when jumping into the PC version this week. Of course, if you have any other configurations that you end up using yourself that you think work well, by all means, share them down below. But otherwise, try these out and you should have a great time. 
Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.